YouTube is full of Beatles quizzes and challenges. But to be honest, most of them are way too easy for serious fans. So in this video, I thought I'd have some fun and make my own. It's based on an incredible skill I'd seen the man perform on television 36 years ago. I'm Andrew from Parlogram Auctions, and welcome to the ultimate Beatles vinyl challenge. Back in 1985, when Saturday evening television was entertaining, there was a show on the BBC in England called the Paul Daniels Magic Show. Paul Daniels was a cheeky but highly skilled magician and entertainer, and he showcased a variety of magic-related acts alongside his own in a weekly TV show which regularly attracted 20 million viewers. The show I particularly remember was, as it turns out, broadcast on October 26, 1985. It stuck in my mind because it included a segment involving records. A man who was building the TV listings as having uncanny musical skills was in fact a mild-mannered American physician from Philadelphia called Arthur Lintian. His uncanny skill was that he was able to identify any classical piece of music on a vinyl record just by looking at the grooves. On the programme, he appeared dressed in a dinner suit and was joined by legendary conductor Sir George Salty, accompanied by his wife. Lynchian was then shown a number of LPs by the Salties who held them up some metres away, all of which he identified correctly. Far from possessing paranormal abilities, Lynchian had over the years learnt to recognise classical works by their varying groove patterns on the discs. Now you'll probably know how quiet and loud passages differ from each other on a record's playing surface. Basically, loud music produces a rough, deep groove, whereas quieter sounds produce a fine, smooth-looking groove. And it was with those facts, accompanied by his extensive knowledge of classical music, which allowed Lintian to perform the seemingly impossible task of identifying a piece of music on a record without hearing it. If you want to see his performance on that show, it is on YouTube, and I'll put a link to it in the description. Anyway, seeing it again recently got me wondering if it would be possible to identify Beatles records in the same way. But as most Beatles songs are a fairly consistent volume, with one track mostly looking like another, especially the early ones, I thought it may be impossible. Or is it? So the way this challenge is going to work is that I'll show you a close-up of one side of an original Beatles album from two different angles. Then all you need to do is identify which album it is. I'm going to use a mixture of UK and US albums. And because I think you're going to need all the help you can get, I've marked which ones are which. So you've got around 15 seconds per album, after which the label will be revealed. It's just for fun, and there's no prizes for the correct answer, if indeed you get any. Are you ready? Okay, let's go.
So how many did you get? I don't think that was very easy. And it just goes to show what a talent Arthur Lincoln had. I wonder how he would have got on with these Beatles records. He was once shown an album by Alice Cooper and said it looked like gibberish, which is probably what he would have said if it had been confronted by these. I hope you enjoyed this bit of fun and that you'll join me again soon for some more regular programming. In the meantime, why not head over to our website, parlogramauctions.com, for some rare and wonderful sounding Beatles vinyl. We've also now got some merchandise in the form of t-shirts and get back mugs, which you can find in our YouTube store, a link to which is in the description. It just all helps to keep the channel going. But that's all for this time, so I'll say bye for now and thanks for watching. <laughs>